LeBron James was given a billion dollars by Nike, the establishment, the anti-human, neoliberal, Marxist, globalist establishment, which is also Church of LGBTQ, to, he was given this billion uh, no. dollars uh, yeah. to keep his mouth shut about the single greatest humanitarian crisis of our generation. And that is the two million people being placed in the concentration camps in China for no other crime than being Muslim. Mm. Now he won't speak on that, why? Number one, it's an economic injustice that he's done to take that payoff to shut his mouth because really he should have asked Nike for $40 billion. Of course. He should have got at least $500 million a year, if not a billion dollars a year, because Nike makes $40 billion of revenue a year, and he represents at least 1 40th of their commercial value and influence. I, I agree. 100%. But he took the billion because when you're a radical materialist and you come from Akron, Ohio, like I come from Minneapolis, or you come from one of these other black communities, you measure your success based on what other black people have. Mm. And because other black people don't have a billion dollars, he feels that the billion dollars he got is an accomplishment that he can hold over y'all and say, look at me, right? I'm successful. But it came, with a, it came with a quid pro quo. And the quid pro quo is, you are the new head house Negro. Ooh. You and Obama, sine qua non black bourgeoisie sellouts, the black bourgeoisie. They are, the, they are the go-between to the black community. They're the ones that are going to negotiate the terms of our social contract with the establishment from now until whenever. So you call Stephen A. Smith a sellout too. He's another one. He's just the comment. You got LeBron as an athlete. You got Stephen A. as a commentary voice. You got Barack Obama as a political figure. You got Oprah Winfrey as the women's right. I mean, pick one. Pick we. It's hard to find a black uh, public figure who's a celebrity who hasn't sold us out. 